What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, pick this up, Roid Me transmitter up. And it's not like a request. I'm not asking you to Roid Me up like Sammy Sosa or something like that. Uh, but it's a uh, little transmitter and it has, a, I think, a Roid Me app with it too. So it seemed to get kind of, it, it kind of seemed like to be an interesting design in the transmitter world. So I thought it was worth uh, checking out because, you know, not every car has Bluetooth HDDP streaming. And this one looks like a little cigarette lighter plug. Not sure what I'm supposed to take off here. And there it is. Interesting little design. Uh, took the top off here. We have two USB ports for charging. So the cool thing is you turns your accessory port into a charging port. That alone would be kind of cool because of kind of how small this thing is. Uh, but that's not even the real beauty of it. And it, it's pretty clever looking. I like the detail on it. Look, it's got that little chrome trim around it. Just kind of gives it some perceived, you know, premium look to it. And you do have two 5 volt, uh, 2.1 amp uh, USB ports there. And this should be pretty flush with most uh, charging ports. This part is probably going to stick up a little bit, our accessory ports, and so it's going to stick up just a little bit. And even down here, I mean, it seems kind of like high quality, perceived value, I guess. Uh, it has this kind of chrome looking uh, connector. Uh, we're also going to download the Roid Me app, which this thing then, when it gets powered, will put out a Bluetooth um, connection. And so I think what I'm going to do is pair my phone or my iPad to it. And then on top of that, it has an FM transmitter. So then I can use the app to select which station I want it to broadcast out on and then tune my radio station to it and get music from, say, my phone to broadcast on my radio. And this is great if you don't have, uh, you know, Bluetooth capability built into your, your car. All right, guys, so in the process of trying to shoot a video showing how awesome this thing could be, and man, it's just stuffed with potential. This thing sucks. Do not buy it. Don't spend a cent on it, please. This thing is a piece of crap. First of all, uh, one of the things I found out is I went to my GMC train, plugged this into the accessory port, and it never powered up. I tried adjusting it, twisting it, uh, unplugging it, never powered up. Went to my Fiat, and it did... Um, power up. In fact, uh, it's got a nice little blue LED behind it and it did pair to my phone. But uh, what ended up happening is when you open up the Roid Me app, you come to this and even though it was paired to my phone, it still said, you know, hey, well, basically it gives me this message, which I think is saying that this version is not compatible with my iOS or the app or whatever. And so you click on this and it wants to take you to a website to buy a new one or kind of their latest version. But on top of that, it doesn't even have the product. So it kind of makes this totally uh, psh, worthless. And so I can't change the channel here uh, because it never really thinks it's connected to anything. So despite the fact that I was able to finally get this thing powered up, which didn't work in every accessory outlet that I tried, and the fact that I was able to pair it to my phone, but then the app won't read it, uh, so it makes it totally useless, uh, this thing is just a piece of junk. I mean, it does work as a power, you know, to pass power through the USB ports to something, but that's a $3 product as opposed to a $20 product. And so for Bluetooth connectivity to uh, use A2DP streaming your music or audio to your car, this thing is, this thing is a hunk of junk, man. Um, you know, if, if you want this, I would just, uh, uh, let me know. Send me $20. I'll poop in a bag and mail it to you. Roid me. More like hemorrhoid. Peter Von Panda. Out!